So today we're going to do spirometry on the Easy One Air spirometer. So in spirometry what's important is that uh, the coaching of the patient is very important and the maneuver requires three acceptable tests to be done. Um, so in spirometry what's most important, there are three components that need to be done correctly. The first component is filling air, your lungs up completely with air, all the way. Hold that breath until you're ready to go, and once you're ready, you blast as hard as you can, and you keep going until all your air is expired. So it looks something like this. If those things aren't done correctly, the test will not be done correctly. So it's very important as a technician that you coach the patient correctly to, to get that done. So I am going to administer this test to Tina here today. Uh, so to start the test, um, in spirometry it's important that we enter patient information correctly. We use the age, sex, height, and ethnicity for predicted values. So it's important that all that get entered correctly. So to get started, I pick up the device and turn it on. I get a main menu here with uh, a bunch of things I can do, and I'm going to choose FEC to start the test. And the first screen I see allows me to either add a patient or choose a patient that has already been added. So again, if you're adding a new patient, it's important that the age, sex, height, and ethnicity be entered correctly. However, if the patient is already entered in there, you can simply select them from the database that's there, uh, and there are sort and uh, search features available to do that. So in this case, I'm going to choose Tina, who's already loaded, and we're going to start preparing her to do the test. So we use a single patient use flow tube, we call it. And the way we insert this is we tear, partially tear the bag, insert the tube lining up the arrows there. I'm going to leave this bag on there because there's a step where I must block the, the mouthpiece before the first blow. So I'm going to leave the bag on there to keep that clean but also to block the mouthpiece. So at this point I would instruct the patient to make sure that the patient understands this, these three steps of filling lungs, blasting out, and continuing to go until all the air is gone. We also want to use a nose clip to make sure that while Tina's blowing, she does not lose any air through the nose. Make sure that's comfortable on there. So once I'm done entering the patient information or choosing the patient, I'm going to choose start test. And I've already chosen to do this, the most basic spirometry test called FEC or forced vital capacity. So the first step is asking me to block the, the flow tube on the first blow. So I've got my bag on there, so I'm going to say OK. And in a couple of seconds after the baseline is set, it's telling me that it's ready for the blast. So now I carefully remove the bag, hand the device to Tina, and say, fill your lungs completely. Put, your, put it in your mouth when you're ready, and blast. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, push, 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 keep going till I tell you, go, 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 go. Great job. So now, on the easy one air, while Tina was blowing, I can see a flow volume and a, a volume time curve. And as a technician, it's very useful for me to see the shape of those curves as she is blowing. So I am positioned in a way that I can see those curves while she's blowing to aid in me seeing the quality of the test that just occurred. So also, there's quality feedback after each trial. In this case, it says, good effort, do next telling me that that test had met the standards for, for a good, good blast at the beginning, and she kept going until there was very little flow at the end of the test. Those are two components uh, of the test that are, that are quite important. So, as I mentioned, we need three acceptable trials. So far we have one. 
So I have the options of add trial and data. Data meaning I can look at the more detailed data or I'm ready for the second blow. So I think Tina's ready for the second blow, so I'm going to choose add trial. And we're ready. Great job. You know, the other aspect of quality in the software of the device is we have a grading system in here, an A through F grading system like school grades. So what we're grading on is the acceptability of the blow, whether she started nice and fast and continued to go until no more air, and reproducibility. In spirometry it's important that we get these three acceptable trials, but they also need to be reproducible. The FVC and the FEV1 ideally need to be within 150 milliliters of one another. So we have a grade displayed here that's telling me where I stand with regard to quality. So I got good effort due next, meaning that the second effort was acceptable, and I have a C grade right now, which is pretty good. We're on track. If I do another third good effort where the reproducibility is good, I hopefully will have an A or a B, which indicates that I've met the standards for good spirometry test. So we're in good shape here. We've got two blows behind us. We've got one more to go. So I'm going to hit Add Trial. And we're ready to go with the third blast. Whenever you're ready, fill it up. Fill, fill, fill. Blast! Go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep pushing. Push, 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 push. Nice. Good job. Good job. So, I have session complete, okay, with a, with a grade of A, meaning that we have three acceptable trials where the reproducibility is actually better than 100 milliliters for an A, and 150 would have been a B. B would be good enough. Um, C is good in a pinch. We really would like an A or a B. Now, you can do up to eight trials to get to this point. Uh, in this case, Tina is a very good student and she understands how to do the test so it was quite easy for me to get a good grade after three blows. It could take you more and usually what happens is those first couple of trials maybe the patient is still figuring out how to how to do this or you're figuring out how to coach and, and get them to do the things correctly. Um, so ATS says go up to eight trials. Um, we were fortunate to get uh, that done within three trials. So at this point for my pre-med spirometry, um, we're actually done. So I'm going to hit end test. And I have screens here where I can tap around and I can blow up the curves and look at them. I can look at the data more carefully. But in this case, I'm all set up here with a printer. So I'm just going to hit print and have the test print directly to this printer. Now, also in spirometry, what's common is to do a post-med test, meaning that if I suspect a, um, a, a obstruction, I could administer a bronchodilator to the patient, have them wait 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the drug, and have them repeat the test on a, on a, a post-trial basis, and then I would be able to compare how well the drug affected uh, her measurements and therefore be able to diagnose possible asthma. The other option is if you're using the Easy One Air with the Easy One Connect PC software, that software will be loaded on a computer. And instead of printing direct, I can dock it in the cradle while it's connected by a USB cradle to the device. The test will download into the software. And from there, I can pull up the test and see that the data is downloaded and from here I can view, print, trend, make a PDF, do all sorts of things that the power of the computer will give me.